Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Sagittarius. And if you have any personal questions, then you will need a personal reading. You can visit my website, katietarot.com. You can book your personal reading with me there. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's take a look at the week ahead. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's take a look. Okay, Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups. All right, so this ending or this finalization, this stress, worry perhaps is going to uh, end. Something's going to make you happy. This ending is going to make you happy, fulfilled. We've got two tens, so something is coming full circle. Something is moving on. Perhaps that, that's what makes you happy. Perhaps there is an element here of you um, feeling content knowing that this situation is coming to a close. Let's take a look at the other cards. The moon. Okay, there's been some confuse, confusion. There's been some perhaps deceptive energy going on here Sagittarius either by you or another person around you or there's something that has felt off okay something has not felt quite right and you've been working through that energy also there may be a Pisces all right a Pisces energy around you the hangman energy okay something has not been moving forward has a person been making you feel stuck Perhaps that's the case. Have you been self-sabotaging self here? Have you been s stressing about something so much that you haven't been able to move? Let's take a look at the last card. King of Pentacles. All right, so you may have an earth energy around you as well. Also, with you being represented by the earth energy, uh, things are definitely more grounded now. Things are looking up. Things are looking like they're changing, you know, um, from stagnation or pain or difficulty or stress or worry or, um, you know, some uncertain energy. You may be uncertain about a relationship. You may be uncertain about this person in your life. You're not sure whether you can trust them or not. You're not sure, you know, things are not op out in the open. You're more grounded. So you're getting more grounded. You're quite happy about this situation. People are supportive around you emotionally. See, things are becoming clear. That's what I'm getting here. Things are becoming clear for you. And if it's not about a person, then it could be about your workplace in some way. It could be about... Um, if you're studying or um, anything like that, it could be, you know, things are getting clear about your future. I'm seeing that some of you have been stuck in terms of you've kind of been doing things again, repeating things. And they've been okay. You know, it hasn't been terrible, but there's been a feeling that something needs to change something needs to end before something can uh, move into a new energy of happiness for you because you haven't been entirely happy you haven't been ecstatic you haven't perhaps felt like your direction has been on course 100 percent and that's okay you're moving through that energy Sagittarius you're becoming more grounded you're part of the emperor here as the king so you may be more in control you may be more in authority over others in some way you're making the judgment call you're making things progress and yes you know it may be in more of a um, more of a slower way than perhaps the other kings but it's getting there you know things are progressing forward things are moving but there is still this energy here this week of um, being stuck or being perhaps victimized in some way so there may be a person around you although it's not going to affect you because you're the king but spirit may be wanting you to be aware this energy is still around you this confusion perhaps some deceit is going on here but overall this energy 
with the Ten of Swords is saying this is coming to a close. This energy is going to wrap up. Something you don't want, you're going to throw it out. It's going to be in the past for you, which is really great. I feel you don't want this in your life anymore. Or you don't want this, whatever this is, you don't want it there. You know, you want to have more of emotional balance, which I see is coming. And you start something new, getting on your life's purpose. Don't want to be worried about that anymore. You just want to get down and actually focus and do things. You don't want to be all up in your mind. You don't want to be all in your emotions either. I feel like you want to put things into action. You want to go out in the world and make a difference, make a change. Well, that's all coming, Sagittarius. So don't stress. It's okay. You're going to move through this energy this week. Or through the next few weeks, however long this takes to play out for you. You know, if you want to get more in control of your finances, of things that are tangible in your life, your work, your possessions, your home life, your emotions, your love life perhaps, it's all here. You can do it. You know you can do it. There's strong intuition here for you as well. So I feel you're going to be tapping into that this week, Sagittarius, in some form or another. So let me um, pull an oracle card for you. Um, a really high vibration for Sagittarius. What makes their heart sing, their soul sing this, uh, this week? What's going to be of benefit to them this week? High vibration for Sagittarius this week. Let's take a look. Sagittarius. School, okay. The answer that you're seeking involves going to school. Some of you may be studying, some of you may be learning because um, school can also indicate a group situation. It could be a hobby, it could be a class. This is a high vibration. This is a very, very positive energy for you. And you could be learning. You know, we've got the King of Pentacles here. You could be teaching. You could be involved in a school environment in some way. Or um, you could be learning at home. You could be schooling yourself. You know, you could be educating others or yourself about something. You know, you're seeking knowledge. There's also a structure here to it. And I'm seeing that with the King. You're getting educated also in an emotional sense. What I'm seeing is that things are becoming clearer. You're becoming more knowledgeable about something. Something that is hidden perhaps here with the moon energy is coming out into the open. You're becoming more aware of where you're going, what your life purpose is perhaps, what this uh, person is, who this person is really in your life. You know? You're becoming more emotionally balanced. Amazing. Good energy. Let's take a look at your love life, Sagittarius. What's going on romantically for Sagittarius? Romantically for Sagittarius. Let's take a look. Chemistry. Okay, that's great. Chemistry, there is a strong magnetic attraction here. If you're single, okay, and you want to find love, you want to find interest, well, there's a spark here. You've got chemistry with a person. You're getting to know someone. There's going to be chemistry here this week. If you're in a long-term relationship, you'll feel that as well. If you are single, you are going to come into contact with someone. You are going to click. It's going to be a strong click, a strong attraction here. Someone on your same wavelength, someone on your same level. A very positive uh, collaboration, very positive relationship. Uh, it could grow into that. There's chemistry here, it's great. Your interpersonal relationships, that's there. Okay, so I'll leave the reading here for this week. I hope you guys have a great week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon.